One low country hospital has been managing to keep the virus at bay, at least so far. News 2's Kate Prestag caught up with the VA to hear what they're focusing on at during this time. While the Ralph H. Johnson VA Medical Center has had zero COVID-19 positive patients, they've been gearing up for the day through simulations. Clinical nurses at the VA, like Lisa Boy and Cheryl Karn, have been running drills and scenarios since March 25th, anticipating their first coronavirus patient. Preparing to keep them safe within this facility and keep our staff safe as well, which is the reason why we've been drilling uh, constantly since, since early March. We, we don't want anyone to get sick. We don't want anybody to get this virus at all, uh, but we want to make sure that if they do come here, they're getting the best care they can get. Part of those drills include properly taking off the potentially contaminated PPE. It's extremely important to know how to do this in the correct sequence and to don in the correct sequence just for their safety in addition to the patient's safety. Karn says that with the help of the VA's engineering team, they were able to create what they call co-zones, which can care for a total of 24 patients now with a plan to expand. Unlike other hospitals in the area, this allows zero recycling of the air through their HVAC system. Uh, the negative pressure for the entire unit, um, which means that we can safely care for these patients uh, that may potentially uh, have COVID. Officials tell me they acquired the technology for the co-zone after the H1N1 outbreak, fearing another pandemic could be on the rise. In Charleston, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.